it had a nasty dip at 6200 rpm jeff was like man if that thing would have yeah this thing is a money pit so here we are 10 hours later yeah just feed the machine yeah all right we got our fancy tool oh no what's up guys welcome back to the channel all right we are finally doing valve springs and we're also doing a fuel system we're doing a lethal performance triple pump 295s for e85 so we can get this thing under that corn corn fuel i uh really want to do a specific how-to video on this but we're trying to do valve springs at the same time so uh time will tell i'm just gonna basically follow evan my guy evan over here i will link everything all of his information in the description if you are in the nashville tennessee central tennessee area this is going to be your guy for the install normally i do everything myself me and just a select few other people but for something like this fuel he has a lot more experience than me so i'm gonna let him do that i will follow behind him try to go step by step show you as much as i can but we have to get started on the valve springs over here do, do, do. Whole lot of work. Yeah, we need a catch can. Help. Oh, ow! I already cut myself immediately. <sighs> Jeff is uh hell horse performance is supposed to send me a catch can. Hell horse. Hell hell horse. Hell to the horse performance.com code xander13 and save some money same with uh money, this save. fuel pump system of you this fancy stuff you guys can go to lethal performance if you want this uh triple pump set up here this return style fuel system and use code xander13 at checkout save a bunch of money where's that super air compressor you have oh yeah i forgot about that it's yeah we might need that it's okay <laughs> this whole thing is not going to be easy I need eight. 220 compressor. Dude. Probably the nearest 220 outlet is the stove. It's like. one of those, if somebody steps on something, we're going to get electrocuted. Where the hell is I had Boom. The ratchet there. is complete. Where does this one go? Here Watch this no trick. Cut it out. I, I, he's got his. Uh, you know, this might be an issue. Oh, I don't have any more of these fittings we'll figure it out and because if it leaks down we're in trouble yeah now we're pulling heads i have a piston up top true so it won't fall no, that's yeah, what I, was yeah. I really really don't feel like working on cars today i don't either <laughs> you like that seat delete? Yeah. Yeah. Jason Lopez, CM Components. Yeah, he did a good job. Is there any adjustment on the seat at all? No, but we can pull it if we need to. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm going to have to be able to get right here the T50 Torx bit. I literally am losing. What happened? Did you, did you put the mount in there with the seat all at one piece or did you, you put separate the seat on after the mount went in, didn't you? I put it together and then dropped it in. Really? Yeah. I'm trying to go fast. Do you remember which one of these, which or which? Yes. Um, yeah, it doesn't, it won't matter because they're all going to the same vacuum source, the vacuum block. Yeah. So. It had a nasty dip at 6200 RPM. Jeff was like, man, if that thing would have... Yeah. yeah, mine's all 16 PSI. I don't have any issues. So, all right, guys. So, step number one, we got... Evan back here working. Oh, you didn't want to pull the seat? Yeah. <laughs> Would you go through the trunk? No, nah, I just yeah. climbed over. <laughs> wow. That's gas. That's 93 octane. We don't want to be on 93 anymore. That's why we're doing this fuel system. So he's going to take the, the fuel hat apart. We have a Hellcat pump in it right now, which seems to have been working pretty fine. But big part of this is yeah, running wires. There's going to be wires everywhere. The cool thing is, though, with the Lethal Performance Kit, I know four, there's other brands out there, but you see these relays, everything is pretty much good to go. Already assembled for you, pretty, makes it pretty simple. And the cool thing too is there's already fittings on all of your lines. So a little bit of organization here. Yeah, true garage install. Everything is garage installed. Here's the triple pumps, 295s. Look at these new fuel rails. These are super fancy, Division X. Uh, regulators, two of them, so you're gonna regulate both sides. Yeah, we have a lot of work to do today. A lot of work. If you need a hand, brother, just let me know. All right, so I need, uh, what were we doing over here? Oh, uh, yeah. Pulling valve covers. Pulling valve covers. We may have to take that coolant line loose. That's what I'm worried about. Yeah, we're going to drip coolant. Well, I don't want to be dripping coolant inside your motor. No, no. Normally, this ain't here. Well, the problem, too, is this freaking... Yeah. 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 Low, easy does it. Oh, oh how are we getting past... I don't know how much this is going to be affected by that. See, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. All right, yeah, let me cut the camera. There's no way I want to do that. No, no, not going to do that. People has done it. There's I too mean, much actually, shit. Actually, I wouldn't applaud the people that done it because I'd, like to, I'd like to inform the people that have done that that they did more work trying to get those valve springs out without taking the cams off. Than it too much. Here's... My buddy that did it both ways. He said, <laughs> I don't care. 
if it was ten hours more. Hey, you look. That's what I'm saying. He said I'd do it. He said no. it's not worth the. Aggravation. Yeah, that's that's no. more aggravation than just doing it the right way. Uh, well, the reason. Uh, the reason being, if you look right here, yeah, it can't. No, it can be done. I'm not saying it can't. No, yeah. But if you look right here, you got a valve spring right there. Yeah, it's tough to get to. You got a valve spring right there. You got a valve spring right there. Oh, that's a nightmare. That's a nightmare waiting to happen, though. I really didn't want to take all this apart, but it is what it is, man. Let's just tackle it and do it, and it's done. That's car, man. Just rip the front cover off. I cannot imagine trying to do that. The only ones I've done in the car are the three valves and the O2 valves. They're easy. Oh my God, man. It's, dude, it's calm down. I know, I know. It's just, at least the wheels look good. <laughs> you like the wheels? Yeah, I yes. love them. Yeah, love man. Those. those are the same wheels I wanted for this. They look so good. Clamps have 13 on them. Do they really? Is that for Zander 13? Did you special order those? <laughs> <laughs> look at that 13. You no, know, 13 used to be like a bad luck number. No, I was born on a Friday the Some 13th. people actually consider <laughs> And everything goes perfect for you. <laughs> yeah, Friday the 13th. That's a true story. I was born on Friday the 13th. And then I was also a 13 Fox in the Army. Okay. That's where that 13 comes from. I wasn't purposely trying to jinx myself, you know? <laughs> Uh, it's just uh, Matt, look 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 it's a saturday it's a beautiful saturday day. there's drag trips open and i'm not sitting at one of them that's all you would have been doing <laughs> yeah. so now, i said and tomorrow sunday so you have all day tomorrow to do this too i don't like this guy right? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I already know like unless y'all work until like three, he lives like two and a half three hours away yep. so well, i already know like yeah. he, like i'm not i'm not like, trust me, I'm not. <laughs> so, got uh, an assembled fuel hat here we have another little problem. Let's get it done. He's recording. That's okay. Knocking. It's okay. Oh, we knew it with the AC belt. I don't really want to cut it. We've already cut them so many times. Like, you're spending oh, yeah. $30 here. Hey, 30, look, 30, look. 30, just money, 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 look, money, look, money, look, money, look, money, look. money. Yeah, this thing is a money pit. Just, yeah, just feed the machine. Yeah. Just throw it on in there. Just taking all the money. <laughs> Just, just take this. Just slip, slip that on in there. There you go. Put that. In, put that in the. Uh, there you go. Yeah, dance for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the lethal pump setup's nice. You like it? I like the. I like the. How the wiring comes up. It's pretty plug and play. Yeah, pre-made lines are nice. Uh, I actually prefer making my own, but I would say probably nine out of ten people or more don't. Right. So it's a really nice. For the average consumer, average, this is yep. possibly the better. Yep. Dang, these are brand new. <laughs> Come on, I can't. <laughs> you want to shove that in your pocket? You got you got a lot of room. Come on, wait, wait. I mean, this is. I mean, I don't care. You know what I mean? What else do we need? I don't either. You got RVT. Yeah, I'm gonna get. The, yeah, I'm gonna get the big one. Just why not? Because if it's full to the brim, it's, gonna it's just gonna it'll drip everywhere. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so frustrated about pulling this thing apart. I just really don't want to do it again. We're a little tired of cutting belts. Ah, see what you're doing. It ain't coming. Well, sometimes you need to pull more out than you do up. But um, I need something a little thicker. Usually the straps I use are a little thicker. So what I might do. Well, I've got thicker straps. You do? I feel so bad because. <laughs> Yeah, I told Logan that we'd like step by step this shit. But oh, I, know, I, well, I know. I told him. I was like, dude. I was like, I'm not doing step by step. I was like, I'll give you pictures. I'll have to apologize. Like, I was like, I'll give you pictures of like the pump assembled. Yes. And stuff. I'll give you pictures of the top part and stuff. But I was like, if you can't figure out how to cut the hose, right? Do, you shouldn't be doing anything. Right. I'll uh, once everything is installed, I can just point to things, and then we, you can walk me through. We can vocally. You know, do it that way because they don't need to watch us turn every single wrench, but they can, you know, we can point, well, hey, this goes here, there, there, and so on and so forth. So, what's the matter with you? <laughs> I would never do anything bad. She ain't. <laughs> Where's that money? Let's we'll shove it down the back of his pants. <laughs> this is a stream. Like, I would never do this, but I'm working with what we got. Word of the wise, guys, if you're doing twin turbo kit on your Mustang, I don't care if you think you need them or not, valve springs. Just, just do it. We should have done it from the beginning. You're gonna do turbo on anything. Yeah, you know. just just do it. <laughs> if this don't work, you got a problem. Come on. <clears throat> oh, it oh, bit it. Uh -oh. It took it. Ow! Oh, shit. That... <sighs> I keep hitting the damn. Jeff is calling me back. Hell horse. We busy, man. Trying to go fast. Uh, this one. Just want to talk to the four engineers that decided that they wanted to. 
put a stretch belt on the car. I know. Let the stretch belt have a long neck. I make all the difference. Ah, him in the eye, mother... Let's make silly YouTube videos for the 2,000 yeah, views that it's gonna get. <laughs> Look at this BMR K member and this, uh, I gotta clean this. Twin turbo kits. It's all, it's about to come all over me, I bet. Oh, it's... I'm getting cool in the face. It's good for you. It only burns once. Guys, guys, guys. That fit what the really fuck? good on there. Like, it was... <laughs> no, a 19 will fit good. Well, yeah, like, I... I didn't think anything of it. Like it slid right on, or well, that's it. It shouldn't, though, because that's the whole point of a flying drive. Right. There you go. Yeah, the whole reason you have those is so a socket won't take it off. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I've never had one fit as good as that right. 19. Day. <laughs> Making progress. So to get the harmonic balancer off, the easy way on the 18 up. We've done this before. To get a Lowe's, I'll link the video up above so you guys get the part numbers and stuff. But pretty simple. Just do this, and then bam, that's gonna lock in to the uh, little slots mm -hmm. behind the puller. It'll make sense in a second. But getting this to, to work is a pain in the butt. Now we need like a uh, what size socket to go against the crank. Bolt. It's a what is that? That's, that's, that's a. Works, dude, a thing that goes this. Do you do this like nine times? <laughs> you know. All right. This, this is the way this tool not... looks. You got these little slits. You got to get back in there. This stress right here, how it's bending. So these washers, you really want to make sure that you get something that'll take some force. Now we just crank on it, and it's gonna pull the balancer off. And then we have a small socket back here. Come on, baby. I will say in the video, if you guys are doing this, if it's fighting you, uh, excessively stop. Right now it's coming off pretty smooth. Yeah, they're not hard to press on. No, they're not that bad. So if you're fighting this thing, uh, then you're probably doing damage. There it is. You got it, Steve. Yep. There it is. First time. So that's how it looks on the back there. Trying to go back and forth. It's, it's going to be one big video. It just pays to watch the channel because you never know what you're going to see. Fuel systems, taking apart engines again. Mm, look. I need a 13. Uh, socket or wrench or what? There's cutters right there by your right underneath your right elbow, too. 13, 13, 13, 13, 13. Well, you know, looking upside down. Upside down, exactly. Yeah, what's that what's that song it's like turn the beat around da 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 da, da, da. Right. yeah turn yeah, that's it right there turn it upside down what, what i was, know what you're doing but I, you're not gonna get me to do it <laughs> <laughs> what is the name of that song old music like 80s so here we are 10 hours later all right we got our fancy tool Oh no! Right. How does this do? So guys, what this is, is a uh, Euro export. This allows you to basically do, basically bolt down in place of your camp cat bolts. You have this guy here. So I'll be explaining as you're watching, but it's gonna run this down, compress the spring. We don't want it to go anywhere and we're just gonna reuse these and move them around and the extra security. Yeah, we don't want metal in the engine that's well, bad what are you talking about i don't know this is in yeah, right. side. this is his off side yes you're right yeah. you can do four springs at a time yep. you do four intakes and four exhausts yep well no, the tool's gonna work really yeah good. it's gonna work it's gonna be a really good kit it's a real i like the tool i'm about to buy me one so then here's your that tool goes on correct and so it gives you we'll see it's cut out right here so you can get your magnet, magnet down there you can put the air back on it now so the reason we're doing air guys is uh you got to do that you got to put air in the cylinders uh without pulling the heads off when you compress this down you don't want to lose that that valve dropping down something very important to note is see how it's cut like this as you're pulling these retainers out if they if fall they, they, fall, they, they, they get in here. yeah they get caught so you get a second chance to get them with the magnet yeah, yeah in the past guys used uh the pack one two three four x part number with the gen 3 you have to shim them so this is a pack one two eight one x you don't have to shim them or nothing right so this is made for the stock retainers okay Yes, yeah, so you don't have to actually upgrade. You can upgrade that, but when you start going down with this tool, the best way to know if the air is going to hold you, you see how we're starting to push that right there? Yep. That means the valve's trying, the valve is staying up. So we're going to push that on. We're going to get those out of there, get the spring off. It's not that bad of a job. A little time consuming taking all this apart, if but. If we'd have done it when, when the head with the machine shop. But you I mean hindsight's 20 Yep. 
Yeah. It's all good. Once they go to pop out, they'll they'll shoot right to the magnet. It's a little light. Hey, that that thing come that thing is. I bet the batteries are batteries are down on it right now. Yeah. Just need it down enough for those to pop out. They're two pieces. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. They split in half. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be very careful with these guys. Don't lose yeah, I got them. It. Got it. Once we get both of them. So let me see. Yep. Cone That's shape. exactly what they look like yeah, right here. Only yep. They're cone shaped, so they're only gonna fit one way. That's correct. So let's put these somewhere safe. <laughs> uh, where is where is safe around here? That's right there. So I can't remember the seat pressure for stock Gen 3, but these are like 80. There you go. There's a stock one. You kind of show them. Yep. So, wow, what a difference. Look at that. And this is... Oh, you don't get new retainers? You can, but these are actually made specific so that you can use your factory. Sure. Just like that. And then we're going to Yeah, that's flush. There's no play. Then we're just going to set it down here. You got to be careful right here. Yeah. It's just I'm trying not to hit the valve. I'm going to take this thing and I'll throw it. There it goes. No, it's in my pocket. <laughs> I still got, I promise to do. Right there. Still got it. I'm done recording.